welcome back to device startup channel again guys and today we will learn how to set up and install netgear ac1200 ex6120 dual band wi-fi range extender plus other very useful and important information related to this extender like where to plug it after the setup how to reset it how to log in into it after the setup plus most importantly how to save yourself from getting scammed by fake netgear technicians yes you heard it right so let's get started guys we can set this extender up via browser and via wps method let's learn the browser setup first also you should be having a working internet on your router before we start this now plug the extender in the same room as your router although after setup you can place the extender at the desired location so grab your phone or computer next and go to its Wi-Fi list. There you will see your Netgear extender's default network name showing up as netgear underscore ext. You need to connect to this network. Once connected, open a browser and in the URL or address bar type mywifiext.net and press enter. If that doesn't bring the Netgear's new extender setup page then try mywifiext.local or use 192.168.1.250 into the url of your browser and hit enter to access the setup page also be very sure to type this only into the address bar because if you type it into the search bar then you might land up on third party website who pose as Netgear technicians and when you talk to them, they will ask you to download remote support softwares to get connected to your system and then will scam you for hundreds of dollars. So be aware of that. We have made a complete dedicated video about how this works. So do watch it too in order to save yourself. Plus, do share it with your friends and family members too. Anyways, on the setup page, you will need to create a Netgear account and then follow the on-screen instructions. Also, it will ask you to select the network name that you want to extend. So there, you simply just need to select your router's Wi-Fi name or SSID and then type its password for confirmation. Next, click on Save Settings. Once the setup is complete, you will be able to see your extender's network name in your Wi-Fi list. By default, it comes up as your home network name underscore ext at the end. In order to connect to it, you will need to type the same password as your router. Also, if in the future you would like to change your extender's network name or its password, then we have made a video about it too on how to log in into any Wi-Fi extender in order to make changes after the setup. You can check that out too. Link is in the description. Now let's learn the second method to set up Netgear EX6120 Wi-Fi extender that is via WPS. So in this setup too, make sure you have a working internet on the router. Plus, extender should be plugged in in the same room as your router. Also, wait until you have solid green power LED on the extender to begin the setup. Now, first press the WPS button on the extender and as you do that, you will see a blinking LED on it. Next. Within 2 minutes, press the WPS button on your Wi-Fi router. A solid WPS LED on the extender will confirm a successful connection. Again, you will be able to see the newly set up EX6120 Netgear extender network name in your Wi-Fi list. By default, it will show up as your home network name underscore ext at the end. Now in case the WPS setup isn't working, then it is very likely possible that the WPS is disabled on the router. So, you have to enable it first to set up the extender. It hardly takes 2-3 steps to enable the WPS on the router. We have made a complete video about it too. You can watch it too. The link is in the description. Also, in case none of the above setup method works, then we recommend you to reset the Netgear EX6120 extender first. You can do that by holding a paper clip inside the reset hole of the extender for around 10 seconds while the extender is still plugged into the wall. 
and then try the setup again. Moreover, you can place this extender halfway between your router and the location with poor Wi-Fi signals. Try to place it in direct line of sight of your router if possible. Also, you should avoid plugging it near microwaves, refrigerators, ACs, etc. I hope this video was useful for you all. If yes, then do show me your love and support by giving it a thumbs up. Plus, don't forget to subscribe because we keep on bringing videos related to routers, printers, security cameras, Alexas, Roku and other devices, which will be really beneficial for you all. So, see you all in my next video. Till then, have a wonderful day.